Good morning guys, it's Jack with Team Aquascape. Today we are out here in Batavia, Illinois doing a pondless waterfall with George with Gem Ponds. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. We're gonna be doing this pondless waterfall, nine small aqua blocks. The basin's gonna be sitting just in this area here, right off this gorgeous patio. They just got this patio done a couple weeks ago, and as you can see, we're gonna be forming our rocks all the way up into this patio so it gives that nice nestled look. Right now, we just placed out our nine small aqua blocks. Our basin's gonna sit somewhere in this corner here. We have it all marked out and ready to go. It's gonna be more of a meandering type stream. I mean, there's really not that much of a great change to play with here. So that waterfall is just gonna kind of come hug up against this patio. It's just gonna kind of meander all the way up here and then our 2500 biofall is gonna sit right here facing towards that window over there and this gorgeous patio. So without further ado, we are gonna get going. right along we got our nine small aqua blocks in fabric liner fabric is in we got our waterfall excavated out and we're gonna be sent some stones soon the guys in the back are already starting building this retaining wall back here that we have to create because there's gonna be a nice pathway going from this bluestone patio out into the yard to the side yard over here so we're just gonna get a nice retaining wall back behind here and then once we get the machine out of here we're just gonna feather out all this dirt and put some nice black top soil and you guys see where the water is gonna be at we're cruising right along it's a little before lunchtime and we got our bottom waterfall into the basin done Udi and I are working on our waterfall up here and this one's gonna be a cool waterfall because we don't really have that much of a grade change right now it looks like we have a grade change but this dirt right here is level with that patio and we got to make sure that we have enough cooling area up top and that we have three inches of play with liner between that patio and water line inside that pooling area so right here is gonna be more of like a babbly brook style waterfall you guys have seen us do plenty of times before just with, a, with some cobbles it's just gonna kind of give it that ripple effect over here and then it's gonna swing back into here and then it's gonna dump over this waterfall here viewing towards that awesome viewing area here so it's gonna look awesome we're gonna get our nice bib liner in here so this water is gonna zigzag into here come back kick back here and then disappear somewhere in this area here back into our reservoir Things are starting to take shape finally. We got our pipe going right in. Right now the guys are putting in an overflow. So they had an existing line coming down from the downspouts over there that came all the way around underneath the machine. And there was a box right here with the intent of us connecting this feature into that for an overflow. So the guys are just throwing that T in and then we're gonna throw a piece of ADS pipe to the top of this basin. And then when this basin gets too high, it's gonna overflow into that pipe and then go down into this drainage system. But we got the basin 100% done. I'm just finishing up that edge over there. and then and we are working our way along. So we got our waterfall is 95% in. We got this waterfall here, so it's gonna dump into this basin here, pull up and then come down. We have this bib liner that comes all the way to here. So this is all gonna be stationary with water all the time. It comes up here, kind of kicks back around this rock over here and this is our other waterfall. Now this waterfall here is only gonna be more of like a ripple coming in here. I know I said cobbles earlier, but we ended up finding a, a rock that fit this area just right. And it allows us to dam up water just enough back there to hold to have like a deep pooling area that's gonna be all 
in this area over here. So it's turned out awesome. The guys are just finishing up, putting up the faceplate on the biofalls, and then we're gonna get another rock sitting vertical against the face of that biofalls, and it's just gonna dump into this pooling area here, and then quickly dump them into the stream off of this rock here. So it's turned out awesome. We got a nice piece of fieldstone here. We're gonna throw another piece over there, and a nice beach coming off this patio. So from the house, you're gonna see that waterfall, that beach area, and then you're gonna see that water is kind of just slowly go over from that waterfall, and then you're gonna see it reappear down there. So it's turning out awesome. I can't wait, and stay tuned. Well, George, what do you think? I think it came out great. How do you think everything went today? It went smooth, considering everything. I mean, a lot of different rocks and bigger stuff we brought back here with a nice mix of the Mexican pebble. I think it really came out nice. I really love the Pennsylvania Fieldstone, the granite mix. I kind of like he has a Mexican river rock that he wanted us to incorporate in this, and so it turned out awesome. Let me flip you guys around and show you. So down here, you can see our basin. We're filling it up right now for them. We got this nice waterfall, this pinch style waterfall between these two massive pieces of fieldstone. And the funny thing is, this pump is only a two to five, and it feels like it's a little bit bigger than a two to five right now. And it's cranked up all the way to 10 right now. But as I was saying, we have this nice pooling area down in this basin. We always like to keep that basin pooling in that area just so it gives that natural effect. We hate it when that water just dumps into a pile of gravel because it doesn't, it just doesn't look natural enough. So, right, you have this pooling area down here. I mean, this basin pretty much comes to right here all the way to here. And this is nine small aqua blocks that this Palace waterfall feeds. So as I come up here, I really like how this turned out in here. I love how this kind of jumps in, kind of sweeps, as you can see the bubbles, and then just gracefully just flows over this and speeds up over this waterfall. You have this nice little rolling waterfall coming off that top pooling area. And then up here, it's just awesome how this turned out. I love this big piece of Pennsylvania field zone that we ended up incorporating right next to the patio. That way you get that nice cool effect of it feels nice and cozy. But you got this nice waterfall that you can see from inside that door right there and those windows over there. And they spend much of their time in the kitchen, which is right in those windows. So this thing turned out awesome. I'm really liking how everything turned out. We got a nice little retaining wall back here so then they could access back down into the yard. And this thing is all wrapped up. Hopefully you guys liked it. And you guys know the drill. If you guys like this video, please go down, like the video, comment, and please hit that subscribe button so then you can see more of my face on Team Aquascape. So you can see Chris, Brian, and sometimes Ed. And don't forget about everyone else at Team Aquascape like Jack Danley, Luis, Chrissy, and I think that was it. If I did forget you, I am sorry. But you know that we all love you guys out there and we appreciate you guys watching this video and stay tuned for the next one because this week I have four projects to do. All one day projects, so please stay tuned to see more.